My name is Jean Lambert and one of the things that I do in the European Parliament is I chair the delegation for relations with countries of South Asia. So I've been to Bangladesh a number of times now and visited the site that was Rana Plaza. We've spoken with people from the Bangladeshi government, from the trades unions, from the brands, from the manufacturers, who are now trying to actually improve the situation in Bangladesh and make sure that nobody risks their life when they go to work to make clothes for us. Right at the moment that more and more people discover fair trade products such as coffee and chocolates, and exactly two years after the uh, Rana Plaza disaster in Bangladesh, it is time to inform consumers about the real price of their clothes. We should not only look at the low cost of a product, we should not only look about exporting more, importing more, we should really look at the quality of a product. And that includes the quality of life of the workers that produce those products. <laughs> Fashion Revolution is a global movement present in 71 countries. Uh, it is made up of uh, brands, retailers, designers, farmers, charity and other organizations that are calling for a systemic change in fashion industry. We are asking for more transparency and to reconnect the broken links in the fashion industry. So we are asking consumers to take a picture, show their label and ask their brands who made my clothes. The city of Ghent informed the Ghent public about um, fair fashion, about fair garments. They organized a fair fashion festival on the 1st of March that was being visited by more than 3,000 people who experienced through uh, workshops, through repair uh, cafes, through a film, what it is about, what are the true environmental and social costs of uh, clothing of fashion. The EU can also do a lot of things in its trade relations because we have actually trade agreements with many countries in the world and the EU is trying to set up even more trade agreements with even more countries and many of them have for example a textile industry. So in this trade agreements we could ensure that we're favoring um, sustainably produced products, that we're ensuring uh, standards on products. We also need to make sure that we look at the whole supply chain so that we can be sure that if we're buying goods in Europe which have been made by people in Bangladesh or in many of the other countries that make our clothes that we can be sure they work in good standards, are well paid and that they don't risk their lives for our fashion.